Hello, class of 1970. I am Keener Fry, the Executive Director of the University of Wyoming Alumni Association. With the 2020 homecoming activities being canceled this year and the 50th club reunion on our campus being postponed until the fall of 2020-21, we will sure miss all of you all coming back to campus. While our plans may have changed, one thing has not, and that's the pride and the spirit that the Wyoming community has for the university. We are looking forward to welcoming you back in the fall of 2021 when we can celebrate in person as we have for 90 some years. Please take advantage of some of the virtual offerings and enjoy homecoming this year, albeit in a very different way, but nonetheless know that you will be joined by thousands of cowboys and cowgirls all over the country. Hello and welcome UW graduates and the class of 1970. I'm Bailey Miller with the College of Engineering and Applied Science and I'm lucky enough to be here with one of your former classmates, Glenn Larson from Baldwin, Missouri. Hi Glenn and welcome. Hey, good morning, how are you doing? Good. Glenn, could you share with us what degree you received from the University of Wyoming and your post-UW experience? Sure. I got a BS in mechanical engineering with an aerospace option, which sadly they don't offer anymore. But it was a tremendous preparation for my follow-on career. I ended up going in the Air Force and uh, learning how to fly fighters. Did that for a while. And after about nine years of that, I got a job offer to be a test pilot at McDonnell Douglas in St. Louis. And I got to tell you, Bailey, I did not really appreciate the quality of education I had received at Laramie until I started getting into this flight test business and all the higher math. And it was amazing because I could understand it. I knew what they were talking about. So the education there is just fantastic. So speaking of the education, is there a faculty member at your, with your time in engineering that supported, challenged you, that encourages you, that stands out? Oh, yeah, there, there were two or three, as a matter of fact. Uh, Dr. Don Veal, who later became president of the university, was my neighbor when I was in high school. So I kind of got to know Don. He encouraged me to, to go into engineering, and whenever I saw him, he always wanted to know how I was doing, and what was I going to do, and what was I going to study. And he had a love for aviation, too, which probably kind of helped me out in that direction as well. Uh, Dr. John Bellamy is probably one of the most amazing teachers I've ever had. Uh, happens to be a father, one of my best friends, Bill Bellamy, who is now there in Laramie, retired. And finally, Dr. Bob Weasler. What, what an amazing guy. I probably partied a little bit too much my first few years, but I got into his classes of gas dynamics and, and jet engines and stuff. And man, I really, really, really liked that. His, his inspiration to get me to dig into the books and into the math was just fantastic. I can't say enough good. So speaking of your class, and obviously uh, Bill Bellamy, I understand you guys had a very close-knit class at engineering and at UW at the time. Is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to since you guys all won't be together this fall? Uh, yeah, uh, there's Bill, Bill Patton. Uh, Bill and I went into the Air Force together. He also ended up flying fighters. We ended up flying together in Vietnam. He was in one squadron and I was in another. I'm not sure how many missions he flew, but I'm pretty sure it was in the 200 plus category, which mine were. So, hey, Bill, how you doing? Uh, I've already mentioned Bill Bellamy. Uh, we, we went to high school together. We were on the swimming team together. We were in the same fraternity. And mentoring fraternity, I'd like to say hi to Dan Nelson. I think Dan actually was class of 69, but nonetheless, a good man. And, and his mom was the most fantastic English teacher I have ever had in my life. And I was in high school. That is amazing. And yes, um, I do believe that Dan is still pretty involved with the Alumni Association. So that is greatly appreciated. I also wanted to ask you about, um, you've been so involved with engineering and applied science. Could you please share with everybody why you feel it's important to give back to the University of Wyoming? Well, I, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the most important thing we can do as you reach my stage of life is to give back and to support the people who supported you uh, and to work with the college. And 
I contribute to a small scholarship every year in mechanical engineering. But I also love to come back and work with the students. And, and Bailey has been very good about helping me meet with various student groups, Top Beta Phi and others. And I really, really enjoy that, probably more than about anything. Uh, and for a short period of time, I actually got to do a little bit of a guest lecture in, in the gas turbines class. So, yeah, giving back is so important to the health of the university, the health of the academic programs, and to help our students excel as much as possible. And you've been kind enough to give back um, and talked with our veterans on campus as well. Yeah, that, that, was, that was really a great experience. Uh, I think, Bailey, you set that up. Uh, where I went in to talk to a class that was made up of veterans from all disciplines across the campus. That was a lot of fun. I had a great time with those guys, and and there was some wonderful ladies in there as well. But one anecdote, I was talking to a group of Army guys and, you know, telling them how they have to kind of adapt, and they've got a leg up on the rest of the community because of their their military experience. So we broke up, and I said, are you guys going to go study now? And I said, yeah, we're going to go study. So I stopped by uh, uh, a restaurant in uh, Laramie to grab a little snack. Here they are at the bar. And I said, hey, guys, I thought you were going to study. Where are sir? I said, all right, can I buy you a round of study? So we had a good time. <laughs> that is wonderful. So could you also tell me a little bit about all those amazing books behind you? Uh, yeah, you probably can't see the titles, but off on this side, I've kept all my engineering books. And I actually referred to them occasionally when I was working for McDonnell Douglas. Not so much anymore. And I have a collection of books about how to be a fighter pilot. I got a whole stack of those too. So yeah, you're right. I have quite a library here. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for your time. And I know that the University of Wyoming, and especially the College of Engineering and Applied Science, appreciates all the things that you have helped us do with our students, um, boards, and everything else. Thank you so much. Thank you, cowgirls and cowboys, for your support of Homecoming 2020.